All right, I got my uh, my edges cut uh, to width. Or my my pieces cut to width, and it's uh, 29 and 3 eighths. The plan called for 29 and a half, but that's to match the width of your uh, table. And my table is 29 and 3 eighths because of the difference in the thickness of the plywood. So that's fine, we'll adjust it on the fly here. So 29 and 3 eighths. And then it calls for the legs being 25 inches tall. Well, when I take that into account, if I take 25 as the height uh, right here, add uh, inch and a half, and then add four, which is the, the uh, thickness of the plywood for the tabletop. And then um, the thickness of the, uh, of the support piece underneath. So 25 plus inch and a half is uh, 26 and a half. Uh, throw in three inches for the tabletop surface, or the, uh, the playing surface. And we'll be at 29 and a half or 30 if you want to call it 30 that's fine because you're going to put leg adjusters on the bottom so uh, you can call it 31. Well I'm six foot three my wife is five foot ten uh, my two daughters are five ten and my son is six four uh, so we're we're getting and we're getting taller as a group of people in this nation as well so I want this to be countertop height the playing surface to be a countertop height, which is 36. So I'm adding uh, five inches to this dimension. I'm going to make my leg 30 inches tall. Uh, and then um, just move on from there. So I can get out of this piece, I can get three legs, three uh, side panels for legs. And then I'll get the fourth one out of that piece. And then I can get my uh, four uh, tapered side uh, edges here, which are nine and a half by, again, they'll be 30 inches. They, so they go from nine and a half and they taper to five and seven eighths. So they, they have this kind of a look to them, uh, a wedge look you know, like this. So that, and I think that'll look nice. And, uh, where I'm at. So I got to get my cross cut, uh, my sliding table fence back on, get my, give myself some room and make four pieces 30 inches long. So that's where I'm at. Okay, I'm just about at max capacity for cross cutting on my table here, but probably could go 30, 31. I uh, got my everything set up. I'm going to make this first cut um, long. It's going to be 31. So uh, that, that'll give me a little room to play with on both ends to get it squared up. Um, my fence is away by an inch and inch and a half about, so I've got room here so it won't bind up. Now let's get to her.
Okay, I'm off uh, probably a 32nd of an inch over 24 inches plus. So I'm going to tip my push my fence out a little bit that way to give me the cut I need. I'll recheck it and go from there. adjustment should do it. Make one more cut on this one. I'm going to use my fence as a stop lock here and find a clamp. side. I'm going to flip this because when I do that other one, I want to use my fence capacity to hold it. So we're going to go, let's skip this idea. We're going to rough 
cut this one to 31 again. And we'll get our fourth one and then I'll set up a stop lock on my fence. This one that leaves me money, okay. Slide this over a little bit more. Alright, this will this will be a rough cut. It'll be square though. Because I know this one is. And I'll get my other piece in here and uh, lop one off of that.
this one is the first one I cut, and we know it's not square. I checked that factory edge, but I still don't trust it. So this, this is the nice thing about this. Just take that off. Set a random stop out here. Bring this back up. pieces, 29 and 3 eighths, and just a hair over 30, but that's okay. I can live with the hair. They're all identical. They are all square. I'm telling you, I can't cut anything better than that. And I'm so happy I have this. <laughs> takes all the work on it. Okay, so more panels. Now I need my four tapered sides out of this piece. realized I need uh, two more pieces at 30 to get my legs out of there. I thought maybe I could nest them together, but they have to be tapered from both sides so you end up with a square bottom or parallel bottom here. 
So I'm going to take my stop off again. Rough cut this to 31. Put my stop back in and do it all over again.
Okay, I'll lay out my tapers on these, on both of the sheets, and uh, get, get that and make those cuts. <laughs> 